Okay guys, it's your boy Mac. Um welcome to another video. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe that'll be amazing. Today we're going to Shepton Mallet Prison in Somerset. Uh about to get in the car now, we've got a two and a half hour drive, so I'll let you know when we get there. Okay guys, so we've arrived, we're at Shepton Mallet Prison. Uh, we've just parked the car, so we're going to head inside and we're going to see what's going on. So yeah, so it took us two and a half hours to get here, two and a half hours drive. Um, it is by Western Supermare, I believe, not far from Western Supermare. Um, so we just parked the car in the prison car park, as you can see there. And we're heading down to the entrance now. Uh, and then we'll go have a look around, so stick with me guys. Okay guys, so we're just going into the entrance now of the Shepton Mallet Prison. Um, so first look, it looks like a lot bigger place than Shrewsbury. That's uh, Vinny there, that's the guy with me. Um, so we've got all the barbed wire and the barred windows. We also have uh, what I believe called in slang is a sweat van. So, okay guys, so we've just paid our registration fee and got in. So first look at the place, it's absolutely massive. Uh, a lot bigger than Shrewsbury. Um, so we've just come out of here. Um, so this is where uh, the visitors would have used to come in that door there and they would have been checked in and asked who they're here to see blah 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 and then obviously they would have got brought out of here and took to the prisoners so that's that oh sorry guys the helicopter but that's that there's barbed wire everywhere absolutely everywhere um which i suppose is reasonable when you've got well they had anything in here from killers to murderers to anything like that so then guys we're gonna head around here and see have a look inside so my first impression as we walk around here is this was a lot more high security than what Shrewsbury was um, seems to be a lot more heavily guarded you know what I mean with the barbed wire and things like that so as we head around here, the lady just said to follow the prison wall around. And as far as we can go. So so here guys, um years ago, uh when execution in the UK was legal, they used to have their own execution chamber, which I believe was hanging, and then below Sea Wing is a morgue. So we'll have a look at that guys, and that should be pretty scary we've also got our uh, electromagnetic field detector with us so we should pick up any spirits or anything like that in the tea and coffee room there was um posts on the wall of people have come recorded and there's black shadows behind and things like that so so first let's take a look in here i mean that door alone looks a little creepy all uh we'll head in here well, I'm not sure what this was. So I'm sure this probably just would have been the boiler room. Still quite a creepy little room though. Quite short doors as well. So this here is the office's mess. And I believe what that means is where when the prison officers had a break, they would have come in here to chill out, quick game pool, Sit down, phone relatives, all that sort of stuff. So there we are, guys. We've got a kitchen over there, and obviously we've got a pool table. We've got little rooms over there. And we've also got a sofa. So if we go in here, the light's off, but I'm not sure if we can put the light on. 
Oh, we've got a light switch here. Okay, guys, so this is the locker rooms. So this is where the prison officers would have got changed. We've got the showers there. And we've got a little room just there, which I believe would have been a changing room of sorts. So I'm not quite sure what's in these doors here. Oh, so there we go. We've got a little bathroom with a shower as well. Um, same thing there, guys. So this would have been the locker room where all their kit and own clothes would be. So if they didn't want to go home in uniform and then we'll head into there. And then they would head into here. So I'm going to, let me just turn you guys around. So I'm going to walk over to the prison now and I'll catch up with you there. Okay guys, so we've just headed around. Um, so this here is a 1700 cell. Uh, so I'm guessing this was a cell, a uh, prison cell of what it would look like in the 1700s. I mean, I've never slept on a high bed, but apparently it's comfortable. Yeah, as you can see guys, not much in here. Um, just a bucket, some hay, and a little lantern up here, just to keep you, give you a bit of light. So, now guys, we're going to head up into the treadmill house. At first sight, the stairs seem quite dark. If you look at that, bear with me, let me just adjust up there. So, I'll get up there, guys, and I'll catch up with you. Okay, guys, so, apologise for my bit out of breath. Well, these are the stairs we've just come up. They are quite a steep set of stairs. So, when you get to the top of these stairs, you're greeted with a door. So, we'll head in this door now, guys. So, when you come in this door, it's got quite a large room. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this is used for. It is called the treadmill house. So it's just one bare room. Um, and then we've, I believe we've got like a put me up fire safety area. I think that's just for health and safety reasons. So the only place we've got to do is to the end of this door. So if we get to the end of this, this door, we're greeted with another little room and a bed. Uh, we've also got a little safe on the wall, which is just there. Also, we've got a little lift here, guys, which I believe was for food, and dinners, and things like that. Uh, I don't think there's anything. Right, so then we'll just stairs to get back out. So we'll head over to the main prison area now, and we'll catch up with you then. All right then guys, um, I cut you off here earlier because um, uh, I was a little bit creeped out to be honest with you. Uh, in that room there, there's a hole in the bottom of the wall. Do apologise if you can hear her talking, that's my partner uh, for the, uh, doing YouTube as well. But we went in that room, just there, and there's a hole in the wall. Um, so it's entry at your own risk. So when you go in there, it's sort of like a little boxed in room and very old fashioned cells in there. So, we've done a, a, a reading in there, done a ghost uh, seance sort of thing, asking if there was any spirits. Um, the EMF detector was going absolutely crazy. So, we're back to another one now, and I'm going to leave you guys on record so you can see that for yourselves. Um, so, yeah. So, if we walk into this room here, and we turn right. I've left it right there on the floor. Turn right. There's the room there. As you can see. There's a room there, and so it's enter your own risk. And that is some um, a little cell in there. So now, guys, uh, my partner's going to leave his camera there. Bear with me. He's going to leave that camera there, and we're going to head into this hole again. We're going to head into this hole again, and. We'll do some more readings, guys. So, first, I need to get my voice recorder out. 
Rồi So here we are guys, I've got my little Vosh Korea. Um So if we turn that on It's got a 360 degree sound, so from every microphone So I'll just turn that on guys, I'll let you look at the hole for 5 seconds Right guys, so that's on, so what we're going to do now, we're going to crawl in the hole And then I'll be back with you Okay guys, so um, unfortunately uh, The video that we took um, in the hole uh, in the wall uh, which you can see on the video um, we've lost all the audio for and it won't play the footage won't play I'm not sure the reason uh, but we did get a video um, of uh, a sort of spirit if you like talking um, uh, what I did I left my phone because it was recorded on my iPhone I left my phone set up in the room uh, while we was in another room. You can hear us talking in the background um, vaguely and then all of a sudden uh, the audio goes really loud and just to clarify I haven't edited the audio in any way whatsoever um, I just left my phone set up and then the audio went really loud so what I can gather the spirit that was in the room has messed with the audio I suppose uh, so the audio goes really loud then you can sort of um, make out some sort of words he was saying uh, with spirits though and ghosts and things like that they tend to communicate uh, they can communicate from anywhere to slower than us uh, or faster than us so what I've done I've slowed the video down a little bit you won't really tell that in the video but uh, so I can understand what he's saying more and I did get what he was saying uh, and that will be in the video guys so the video you're about to see after this is of the video when we went in the room uh, sorry, when I left my phone in the room um, and uh, we got the spirit speaking. So yeah guys, uh, back to the video and I hope you're enjoying it so far. All right then guys, so we have just uh, done a seance uh, within that uh, hole in the wall, um, which is some, uh, easiest way I could put it, sort of Victorian cells. Uh, we did get a spirit say um, that they was murdered and been in this prison um, through a source of questions. Um, we also uh, tried to get the name of him and there was no response. So, we're going to carry on looking around the prison now, guys, and see what other cool stuff we can find. Viday! We've got to go this way. Are you going around that way? Stairs to the courthouse. So this was the courthouse. So we're back out there now. And I mean like the walls on this place, guys. Are absolutely massive. With razor wire on the top as well. So, I mean, if you can escape out of here, yeah. fair play to you. One of the best places we've been so far. A lot of activity. It wasn't disappointing. Not one bit. So, guys, you just see another door here. Let's see what's in this door. It is very mouldy in here, guys. Yeah, very mouldy. Quite dark as well. It's not, no. But this is just an empty room with 
Oh no, we have got a door here. Yeah, back up here. Go back in there. Alright, so that's just leads you out to the cells. So we'll head back outside now, guys. You wouldn't want to touch the wall. The ringing went out full of holes. Terrible. So some of these doors here guys, they all seem to be screwed shut, but this one, but no. But yeah, if we look at this. All these doors here seem to be screwed shut. Yeah, all these doors here I'm not sure what they are or what's in them. So well, we're going to head up here now guys. And I think we're going to go grab a drink because I'm quite parched and I'm going to go get a cup of tea. Yeah, uh, oh, so this is the kitchens. Oh, the kitchens. Ah, so the kitchens have still got all the equipment in. Oh, uh, should we do dinner? They've got quite a lot of equipment in it. I mean, I've worked in catering for quite a long time, and these ovens, these are not cheap. So why they'd leave them in here, and they're brand new as well. Why they'd leave them in here is absolutely beyond me. So this is another room. I'm. I would have thought this was some the pot wash. Oh, so that, I think that that's the ice is an ice dispenser. Yeah, that's an ice dispenser. That's an ice dispenser. That's a bit of rusty lock. Anybody want to throw? So as I said earlier guys, this prison is a hell of a lot better than the Shrewsbury prison. Uh, so that's some sort of, um, I'm not quite sure what that is. That's some sort of cooking device and I'm taking it, this is the same. This here is a grill. So you can do your cheese on toast and whatever. So the doors are locked up, guys. So we're back with you when we find something else. So in here, guys, we have the execution chamber. So this right here would have been the bedroom of the inmate who was to be executed. Um, so he spent his last night uh, right next to the execution chamber. So if we go through here, uh, Years ago, there would have been a trap door on the floor there. Um, and then there would have been a noose hanging from the ceiling. Uh, there would have been a... There would have been a... Um, when she's got a cover over there, where the rope would have been. There would have been a, um, a lever here to pull to open the hatch in the floor. Right there, that square there, I think. Uh, so, that's where they would have stood, guys, in the middle. And there would have been onlookers, uh, victims, family. Um, a family of the people who the uh, person executioned would have murdered or anything like that. Got a few posters telling us what's what. So, as I said, guys, um, it would have looked like this here, which is obviously you've got the, the lever to pull, the floor would open up and drop. That's it. Right. So, I'm going to head to the cells now, guys, and I'll show you a little bit around there and then. I, think, I don't think we should be far done. So we've just come on to A-Wing, uh, where the cells are. 
Obviously, I'm not going to record all of it, guys, because it's quite a big prison. Um, but just to give you an idea, uh, that's what the cells will look like on three floors. I think in Shrewsbury, I think in Shrewsbury it would have been on the, it's got four floors, I think. So, in this little box here, guys, this is where, the, where, the, this is where they would have been able to use the phone. So, they would have had their own little booth to go and use the phone in. Obviously, that keeps the loudness of the prison out when you're on the phone. Um, so, here's the, cell, here's the cells, guys, as well. Uh, some of these cells down here are quite big, to be honest with you. Uh, so, that's the showers there. So, if we have a quick look at the showers. So, literally, guys, that would have just been no privacy whatsoever. So, don't drop the soap. So, if we go back out here. So, the showers would usually be where the same side as the cells. So if we, so here's one of the cells, a typical cell for you. So all you're gonna have in your cell is you've got your window up above with a, no, it's a slope windowsill as well, so there's no climbing on it or hanging on it. You just have a metal frame for bed, which should have a thin um, sponge, piece of sponge on there for your mattress. You've got your sink and your toilet there. You'll have all your toiletries on there. And if you're lucky enough and you have been behaving yourself, Normally they let you have a, a TV as well. I know that's the case now. I'm not sure about back in the day. Got a nice picture on the wall of the outdoors. And thinking about it, I think that's the only look of the outdoors they're going to get. So we've got that. So yeah, guys, we'll catch up with you in a second. Okay, guys. So um, we've finished looking around now. We've had a great day. Yeah. Really good active day. A uh, lot of... Uh, Supernatural activity. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head back to the car now and head home, and then I'll catch up with you when we're at the car. then guys uh we're back at the car now uh thanks for watching check out some of our other videos um if you could like that'd be amazing and if you like what you see subscribe for more content see you guys until next time ciao I give you my heart.